Ladies and gentlemen, you're very welcome to the under-19A All-Ireland League final between, on the scoreboard, Ada in green and the Bish from Galway in blue. Starters for Ada, Shah, number one, number three, Brady, number four, Comerford, number 12, Lovich, and number 15, Chuck Chine. As Ada get the first score of the game, and that came from Shah. I'm joined here by John Walsh. John, looking forward to this one. Yes, Martin has to make us have a great game here. Great atmosphere in the arena again, as it has been all day. Your starters then for the Bish. Kento O'Connor, number four, number five, Coughlin, number seven, Joseph Coughlin, and captain number 13 is Carroll, and number nine is Rory O'Sullivan. Ball goes inside to 12, and that's Victor Lovich. Quick four-point lead for Ana as they come up under full court pressure, John. Yeah, Looks Aina like that 2-2-1 Aina. zone press. Yeah, they've made a good start here, Ana. Um, the, the Bish just settling into the game now, need a score now, just get himself going. Referees for the game, Paula Donovan and Katrina White. Again, good defense there from Ana, getting her hand in on the field. Brady goes baseline, misses the shot. Rebound taken by O'Connor. Moves ahead to Coughlin. Coughlin takes the, the contact and unfortunately misses the layup. Comerford. Shah. Let's chime. That's four. And that's Nathan Comerford. Gives in a very quick six-point lead. John the road, the gap, pretty quick. They are, yeah, yeah. Um, again, the Bish just need to set. They've had a couple of chances and missed them. Just need to get as good on the scoreboard as soon as possible. Three-point shot comes in there from... I think that was uh, number nine, was it O'Sullivan? Captain on the ball. Back out to O'Sullivan. Drives baseline, looks for the floater, not there. Shot clock at two seconds. Needs to put it up. And they're going to lose it on the shot clock. Dana's defense is very good so far, John. It is. They're putting plenty of pressure on. Bishop finding it hard to move the ball. It looks like they're a quick time out here, Martin. Yeah, quick time out there from Tom O'Malley to get the Bish back on track. 5.53 to go in the first. Dana, six. The Bish, zero. You're very welcome back. As we said, 5.53 to go in the first quarter. Ain't a six, the Bish zero. John, the Bish needs to just see the ball go through the basket, get a couple of stops. That's it, Martin. They just need to settle down. A lot of, a lot of times in these big games, it's early game nerves. Ain't a half settled the better. Yeah, I'm sure the Bish will come back into it. Comerford looks to get inside, kicks it back out to Shaw. Shaw across to Brady, looks inside. Look for Lovage. Great save, great save by yeah. Joseph Coughlin. He comes back down the floor. Joseph Coughlin to the basket. Unlucky on the layup. And Aina come up with the rebound. Lovage tipped it out to Brady. Oh, looked like got away with a bit of a travel there. Yep. Nothing wrong with getting away with a travel, John. No, no. We got away <laughs> with one last night ourselves, I think. Good pressure there from Aina to get a fit dig at the steal. That zone press is definitely working very well for them so far. They're putting pressure on, but even if they're not getting the steal, they're running the shot clock down. So it's becoming very difficult for the Bish to get a shot away. Cochran to Cochran. 
This one is Dean Cotton. Good. Pass out to Kento. Kento O'Connor. Back to Dean Cotton. Looks inside for Keen Carroll. Joseph Cotton's in the corner. Pull up jumper from number nine, Rory O'Sullivan, then Let's to get the right. rebound. There it is. There's the first basket. Nice little dish from Kento O'Connor to Keen Carroll. Keen gets the finish and he's going to the free throw line. They needed that, John. They did, Martin, and that's uh, hopefully that will settle them down now a little bit. As you can see with nerves, sometimes you're overshooting the ball. That's just a case of nerves, and they just need to find their range and their touch. We've had three great games so far here today, so hopefully this will be the fourth one. A fantastic crowds all day. And a very There's noisy one for, yes. for this one. Shah, cross-court pass. Wide open, Brady for three. Doesn't get the roll. Dean Cochran comes up with a bit of steal again by Brady. Brady gets to the basket, looks for Lovage inside, but it's taken away this time by number four, Kento O'Connor. Point guard gets his offense set. Cochran, Joseph Cochran. O'Connor gets to the basket. Unlucky and a great rebound by Keane. Keane Carroll. He's going to go back to the free throw line for two more, John. Yeah, and uh, the, the Bishops are starting to get the rhythm now. Yeah, great offensive uh, rebound. We've already seen today how important free throws are, even at this early stage of the game. Making these easy shots should be uh, should be a, a massive thing for this team. Yeah. Yeah, every point counts. Carol misses both, unfortunately, and Aina have the ball. And it's Brady. Chime gives it off to Shah. Shah misses the layup. Rebound taken by Carol and gives it off to O'Connor. Straight drive by O'Sullivan. But again, Lovic on the rebound. Lovic, a big, strong man in there. John, he's, looks like a smaller version of Jason Killeen. <laughs> Much smaller. If he, if he has a career right to like Jason, he'd be a happy man. He won't do too bad. Joseph yeah, Cotton. I think, I think both teams just need to settle down a little bit. I think they're playing a little bit too fast and forcing it a little bit. That's a nice move. Great pass from Joseph Cotton into uh, Carroll there for two. Brings the score to 6 4. And a great rebound from O'Sullivan from the miss by Brady. Joseph Cotton hits the corner. The tree goes up from that was number nine, Rory O'Sullivan. A Shah corrals the long pass. Chime. Chuck Chime. Unlucky on the layup. Joseph Cotton comes up with a rebound. Joseph from a uh, a massive basketball family, John. You know his dad, I'm sure, very well, as we all do. Joe oh, Cockton. Yeah, no, yeah. As Cockton pulls up for nice two play. and ties the game up. At six each with 2.20 to go in the first. He's been doing a lot of scoring in the National League as well, this kid. John, good he's, player. Yeah, he's had some very good games, some high-scoring games at a young age. Shah takes it to the basket but misses him. It's Dean Cotton with the rebound. Gives it off to Joseph. Again, looks for Carroll inside. Carroll on the spin. Misses the layup. I just feel both teams are just forcing a little bit too much. They're just playing, they need to just set, maybe slow down a little bit and set up their offense. Yeah, after like the initial kind of minute and a half where Aina had six points, they haven't scored since then. Yeah. And they look inside for Lovic. But again, Joseph Cotton seems to be listening to what you're saying, Johnny's. Bringing the tempo down a little bit until he gets that first to pace. And there's going to be a foul. Foul is going to be on Chuck Chime. We're going to get a timeout from Aina. 131 to go in the first quarter. Aina, six. The Bish, six.
You're very welcome back to the arena under 19A All Ireland School League's final between the Bish and Blue and Colosh Dane and Green. Six points each. Good Great save. save is right, yeah, but a good steal from Shah. Yeah. Gets it off to Chime. Chime straight down the middle of the floor. Looks to the lefty layup. And Joseph Cochran with a massive rebound. And nice what a pass. pass out to Dean Cochran. And again, another pass to Rory O'Sullivan for a great two points for the Bish. I'm liking the, the look at this Joseph Cochran so far, John. Yeah, I like the tempo that he plays at. Nice play. Yeah, great strong move by Nathan Comerford. That's his fourth point of the game. Dean Cochran kicks it out to O'Sullivan again. O'Sullivan into Cochran. Gets himself out of trouble. Joseph Cochran kicks it off to O'Connor. O'Connor misses the shot. 40 seconds to go. Eight points each. Ain't a ball. Fun game to watch, John. Yeah, it's all a bit frantic still. Love it. Right. There you go. Joseph Cochran takes the steal. Gets straight to the basket. Two points for the Bish. They take the lead. Ten points to eight. Good ball movement here by Aina, just slowing it down a little bit. Comerford looks to take it inside. Hits Lovich. Lovich, strong move to the basket. Gets his two points with three seconds. Two seconds. Coxon gets a shot away, but no good. And it's ten points each at the end of the first. Aina, ten. The Bish, ten. You're very welcome back to the second quarter here. The National Basketball Arena under 19A Boys All-Ireland League Final between Colossian and Green and the Bish and Blue. And with John Walsh, John, low scoring so far, but, you know, both teams getting into it. Yeah, it's, it's very frantic, uh, fast-paced first quarter. I, I can't see them keeping that pace up for the whole game. I think whichever team settles down a little bit more, I think by slowing down their offense a little bit, they might find it a little bit easier to score. Aina staying in that 2-3. And they're pressing after every score into that 2-2-1 zone press. Comerford. Looks in for Luggage. There's another two points nice for the big man. Straight up into their press. Got to keep it out in the middle of the floor if they want that to work. O'Connor gives it off to Cochran, Cochran to Dean Cochran. Dean Cochran for three, misses. Yeah, that was a good shot, he was open. Shah. Goes to the basket, misses the layup. And there is Joseph Cochran to take the rebound. So Neil Cochran is come in for Aina, number 10 in green. Defense! 
That foul is on Shads, his first foul. First foul of the second quarter. Joseph Cockton to O'Sullivan inside. O'Sullivan gets it back, gets blocked at the rim. Probably not such a good take in that position, John. Yeah, I mean, Ainer very big inside. There are two big lads and they're, they're hard to, to get over. Comerford gives it off and great drive to the basket. Straight away from Sean Brady. Good take and he's going to get two free throws with his team leading by two points. 6.05 to go in the second quarter. Aina at 12, the Bish 10. The Bish crowd trying to put him off, but it doesn't work this time. And he's two from two. The Bish make a substitution. And it's Dean Coughlin comes off. And into the game for the first time is Daniel Philippot. O'Connor. Coughlin. Philpott. Inside to Carroll. Carroll looks back to Coughlin. Coughlin looks at the tree. Step back tree. This is this one. The outlet is there, and it's Brady on the fast break. Brady down the middle of the floor, kicks it out to Shaw for the wide open tree. Shay Shaw gives his team a seven point lead, John. That was a great assist there as well, but just kicking it back out and uh, gave him the open shot. It's sim similar to the first quarter there. Rain have made a better start to the second quarter. Yeah, absolutely. And the Bishop finding it difficult to break down this two tree zone. Uh, unless one or two of those shots do fall, it's going to be more difficult for them. Yeah, they need to go back to what they were doing to get back into the game the first quarter, get the ball inside and better ball movement. And the foul is the foul on number eight, Daniel Philpott. It's his first foul, team second team foul. Sha, bit of confidence, drives baseline, makes his layup. Opening up a nine point lead now. So the Bish really need to get a score now. Yeah, you've got to get the ball inside the paint against that zone defense. And even if they're kicking down, they, they, they'll probably get a better shot than what they're doing at the minute as the pass kind of gets away from Coughlin this time. Brady. To Neil Coughlin. Ball stripped Good away hands. by Joseph Coughlin. He gets to the basket. Yep, and he's going to go to the line. Good take, good strong take to the basket there, John. Yep, yeah, yeah, good hands to get the steal in the first place and um, good control getting to the basket. I think he found he was probably a little bit too far out from the basket there. He wasn't going to get there, so he drew the foul. Sean Brady, first foul. Captain misses the free throw. Makes the second. It's the first score the second quarter now. They need to get a stop here and get it. Brady, yes, it came off his foot. Good call with the referee. Yeah, you're dead right. Like they need to see the ball go through the basket a couple of times yeah. now to give themselves a bit of confidence. I'm sure probably looked at Coughlin or Carroll inside. He did a lot of damage in the first quarter. But again, Ainless defense is really disrupting uh, the Bishop's offense. Nine seconds, eight seconds on the shot clock. Cockton passes nice baseline, Phil Pot. Great pass inside, but got to shoot it, it straight away. No, they're going to lose it on the shot clock. A little bit unfortunate. Now, goes hard to get the ball back, but um, couldn't get the shot away in time, John. And they need to do that more. They need to penetrate into that zone. They were, they were unlucky it didn't come off them that time, but um, they, need to, they need more of that. They need to attack the zone. Comerford. Shaw again goes to the basket and again gets his two points. 
And his team lead by 10 points now, 21 to 11, with 3.30 to go in the second quarter. Shaz had a very strong uh, second quarter here. He's opened up with him with a quick seven point shot, if I'm not mistaken. Goes into Carroll. Okay, good defense. Joseph Cochran. This is the jumper, but the rebound is taken by Lovich. Comerford. Kicks it out to Shah. Wide open for three. Unlucky this time, and Kento O'Connor comes up with the rebound. O'Connor trying to get his offense set. Gets it into Carroll. That's what they need to do. Get the ball inside. Carroll, unfortunate there. Picks up the, the personal foul. But that is what they need to do, John, to, to kind of break down this zone defense. Yeah, get it in, and sometimes he'd be able to kick it back out for the open shot or take it to the basket, but they, it needs to win there early in the offense. We see number 10, Neil Cochran taking a break as we get a timeout with 2.55 to go in the second. Aina, 21, the Bish, 11. Again, 2.55 to go in the second quarter. And Aina lead the Bish 21 to 11 in the All Ireland Under 19A School League final here in the National Basketball Arena in Dublin. John Walsh, what do you think of the way it's going at the moment? Can Aina or can the Bish get back into this game? Well, they're going to get another good score there from uh, Sharp. Is it Aina have really up their game in the second quarter? I think. Um, the Bish are just going to have to try and get a little bit more control in the offense. They're, they're really struggling against this press for Baylor. Yeah, only scoring one point so far in, in uh, five and a half minutes. Uh, and again, Shah gets to the basket again. He's had that a kid. This 2 to one zone press is, is, again, as we said earlier on, they're not getting very many steals, John, but they're... It's They're totally disrupting there. It's, it's disrupting Aina's offense, or the Bish's offense. And straight away they're down into 14 seconds on the shot clock as they look into Carroll. Carroll nearly has it stolen away but gets it out to O'Connor back into Carroll. And again, good defense for Maynard. Yeah, again, well defended. 3.9 seconds on the shot clock. That time it was Nawagu who came across and got the intervention as Joseph Carroll passed it in. O'Connor. Three seconds he, he don't think he knows about the shot he clock. He's going to lose it again. Yeah, That's great bit, defense, isn't it? Yeah, great defense. That's about three or four times now they've, they've had shot clock violations. That's because they, they're struggling to get the ball up the court and they're running out of time then. I've used it a few times myself, John. Yeah, I'm sure you have, Martin. Come over. Gets to the middle of the key. And makes a good shot. Again, it's going out to a 14-point lead now for Aina, 25-11. The Bish need a basket, need one soon. Carroll gets it to O'Connor. Passes up the tree. Carroll kicked outside to Coughlin. And Carroll, good, strong move inside. Gets himself to the free throw line. That's a little bit better. Yeah, a bit better. They need, again, they need to attack the zone, which um, Coughlin did there. And... Number 13 goes to went hard to the basket and drew the foul. Yeah, Carroll himself is a big man, and you know Coughlin found him well there in the baseline. Yeah. 
This is the free throw. At the moment, I think they're one from six from the line, John, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, as, as you said earlier on, free throws, even in the early stage of the game, they're really important. Nwagu comes up with a rebound to hey, Comerford. And they've done a great job as well of giving very few second chances. They're cleaning up the board. The two big boys are really cleaning up the boards very well. They sure are, and a, a massive part of the game as Shah kicks it to Nwagu. Nwagu bursts inside. Takes a tough shot, and it's Lovic on the rebound. Two more points for Reina as they stretch their lead. Cochran, beautiful pass, beautiful drive, beautiful little assist inside there to Rory O'Sullivan, and Rory's going to go to the line. My views on that, John, if he makes a free throw, then... Uh, Cochrane should get a, an assist on his. Well, he, he does, yeah. I think he should. Free throws hurting him at the moment. Yep. Yeah. That's better. That's good. 118 to go. Second quarter, 27 12 in favor of Aina. Aina and Green. The Bishop only scored two free shots in this quarter. That's you it. Know, and it's only a minute to go in the quarter. It's really hurt him. Yeah, and even when they're getting inside, like the, the passes they're having to make are tough. Yeah. Uh, like it, it's a great job for Maine on the defensive end of the floor. There's a nice strong move again to the basket by Sean Brady, and he's going to go to the free throw line. That one's on number nine, I think. It is indeed. Rory O'Sullivan sends Brady to the line. Both teams on team fouls with 51 seconds to go. Brady misses the first one. And the second, Lovich trying to get the rebound, doesn't get it. Phil Pot off to Coughlin, to O'Connor, passes up on the tree. Carroll inside to Phil Pot, back outside to Coughlin. Pulls up for the jumper, makes it. Now they need a stop and they need another score. Give them some momentum going into the next quarter, John. Yeah, that's their first field goal of the second quarter. It's a nice shot from Coughlin. I, I think he needs to do more of it, though. I think he needs yeah. to be a little bit more selfish to get his team yeah, back in I this game. So, yeah. As Nathan Comerford goes around the basket, makes a lovely reverse layup. Cochran's gonna pass ahead to Carroll. Back to Cochran. Five seconds on the clock. Nwagu with the steal and the foul comes in from Philpot. That's gonna put Nwagu on the line with one minute, one second, 1.6 seconds to go and his team leading by 15 points. Izu Nwagu for Aina. This is the first one. Makes the second. 1.6 seconds. O'Connor from the full end of the floor. Doesn't make it, and John will go to halftime. It's Aina 30 to Bish 14. Going to be a, a tough second half for the Bish here. I think yeah, they have to regroup at halftime and um, you know come up with a better better offense and how to attack that zone from Aina. But Aina, Aina's defense has been very very impressive. Absolutely. We go to halftime 30 14 in favor of Aina.
Ladies and gentlemen, you're very welcome back to the under-19A Schools All-Ireland League Final here in the National Basketball Arena in Tala. Joined by John Walsh and the Bish take a long three to start the third quarter. Uh, again, it's the aim of defence so far, John, has been the star of the show, I think. Oh, absolutely, yeah. They've played really good team defence and they made most of their chance in offence. But two big boys are just like that there again, getting another offensive rebound. Yeah, Lovage with the first rebound and then Neil Cockham with the second rebound. And uh, I did get a fun fact there, John, during halftime from an ex ana player, uh, Ian Lynch. Oh, it'd have, um, it'd have to be Ian, wouldn't it? It would have to be Ian. And Ian has... Uh, Ex-Temple Oak as well. Ex-Temple Oak. He's ex-Cardo as well, would you believe, John? He's everywhere, that man. Yeah. Uh, More clubs than, than Tiger Woods. There you go. Uh, Ian tells me that the last time Aina won the under-19A final, it was the led by the the Lynch twins. Now I'd say it was Neil and himself who was led by, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. As Aina push out to a 20-point game here, 34-14. Do you reckon did they even get any court time that day? I, I remember refereeing their playoffs in Port Arlington. Um, I don't remember much about Ian. I remember Neil, all right. Neil was a very good player. Neil, Neil was a good shooter, yeah. yeah was absolutely. a good shooter, yeah. Just stop that conversation there. Yeah. We leave the two boys alone. Yeah, you see the Bish now are starting to settle for trees, John. I don't know if that's a good idea either. No. I don't think they've made any so far in the game as the ball is kicked to the corner. Kick back out. Sha. Again to Comerford. Down the middle of the key. Big rebound again from Cochran. Out to Sha. To Brady. Brady, nice little sidestep, a little floater down the middle. Gets fouled and he's going to go to the line for free throws. And, you know, John Aina looked very comfortable here now, which is kind of ominous for the Bish. Yeah, they were trying to point lead and they look in control. Shaz doing a great job on the point there, keeping the ball moving. They're off as the two big lads inside are contesting every rebound. And the Bish are just fighting. They're fighting very hard to get any scraps at all. Brady misses the first one. And again, they're like it's their team defense which is is really for me has been the the start of the show for them so far coach has done a great job of instilling that in them and getting the boy into it is Gavin O'Sullivan Cochran Carroll all the way to the corner to O'Sullivan looks for Carroll inside that, that was better there from yeah well it's what they need to do more. They, they need to get into the middle of that key and, and force Aina to collapse in. Then they'll get the better look outside. Ball goes out to O'Connor. Back to Joseph Cochran inside to Carroll. Out to O'Connor. He's up for three and hits one. This one they needed. There's a much better offense there from the fish to move the ball. Five or six passes and the open shot came. And the inside out as well, John. Yeah. Shy goes to the basket, looks down to it, doesn't get it. But Connor comes up with a rebound. Again, Colvin. Looking inside. I was just going to say there, Joseph Cochran's getting looking to post up a little bit more inside. Yeah, absolutely. It's it's Joseph good. Cochran. That's a tough shot off balance, John. Yeah, it's just the clock was running down on him there again at 24 seconds left. Cha, wide open for three. Cha makes the three. He's our game's top scorer with 16 points. Kento O'Connor. Again, the bitch looking at it a little overload. O'Sullivan gets blocked by Lovett to get the back and makes a great score. And straight away down the floor comes Brady, he looks to get inside. Rebound tapped out by Lovich. Got to get to the basket on this That's one, and point. does! Four quick points for O'Sullivan and for the Bish. And they need to get a couple of stops, a couple of more stops here. Lovich inside. Very calm, very composed, John. Finishes very well for a big man. He does indeed, yeah. O'Connor. Been harassed by Brady, not allowing him to any ease at all. 
O'Sullivan again. Looks inside for Carroll. As Cutland goes to the floor and O'Connor goes flying in. It's going to be uh, an Aina ball. How do they uh, get back into this one, John? I think they need to up their defense, try and get a few stops, but again, they're really struggling to score. Um, just get a little bit better ball movement, I think, on offense. But, they, but when they get the open shots, they're going to have to start making them. They've only hit one three-pointer, I think, the whole game. That's it, yeah, 100%. Hotland. Inside to Carroll. Carroll with his head yeah. down, kicks it out. Good to defense there, There's nowhere to go. Rory O'Sullivan, exactly nowhere to go is right. Back out to Cochran. Takes the drive, a little step. And to O'Connor for two points. We're back to a 16-point game. Aina, 39. The Bish, 23 with 3.20 to go in the third. Comerford, easy down the lane, but misses the layup. And the Bush are out running to O'Connor. Takes it out to Dean Cochran. Cochran swung around the baseline to the corner to O'Sullivan misses it. And Nathan Comerford comes up with the rebound. Looks inside to Lovich. Lovich again, slow and deliberate. But misses this one. Getting a little bit scrappy the last minute or so, John. Yep. What a move by Cochran. Joseph Cochran comes up with his own rebound and is fouled by Neil Cochran from Aina. That's Neil's first foul. The fish, the fish have got a few stops now, but they haven't been able to compare it down the other end. And that's a killer for them. You know, they, they need that couple of baskets to get them right back in this game. O'Connor, six on the shot clock. Needs to get a shot away. Cochran for three. Misses this one, and Brady comes up with a rebound. Brady attacks and kicks the shot for a wide open tree. Misses this one. 2.15 to go. 16 point game, John. Yeah, I think the Bishop, they can get it down to 10 by the end of the quarter. Try and give them a chance in the fourth quarter. Again, good defense. Comerford comes up with it. He's going all the way strong to the basket. Oh, He's going to get a great basket. Gets the foul. He's going to go to the free throw line. The foul is on number four. And that's Kento O'Connor. As Comerford goes to the free throw line to add the extra point. This is the free throw. We get the rebound for Coughlin. Brady doesn't take the three. Looks again for Coughlin. Looks inside to Lovich. Double team comes. <laughs> Offensive foul <laughs> called on Lovich. Victor Lovich. 18 point lead for Aina. 41 23. 150 to go in the third quarter. Cochran looks inside to Carroll. Has the ball stripped away by Nathan Comerford and then Shah dribbles it off his knee. And it's going to be a bish ball. John, I remember, I, I talked about it yesterday. I remember a, an under 19A final here, I'd say about five or six years ago, where your um, workmate Shane Mohan was playing. They were down 26 going into the last quarter and came back to win that game. I don't remember that game. I don't Unbelievable that game, game of basketball. Uh, Aaron Wheel and Shane Mohan. Two of uh, our lads from Carlo. That's a great take by Neil Cochran. Brings it to a 20 point game. But, like, do you think that the Bish can, can bring back 20 points in the final quarter? I, I don't see it. Nothing's impossible, but I don't see it. Um, not the way it's going. Like, A and are playing really good defense. The Bush, Bish are really struggling to score. There's only 25 points now, you know. They really need to put their, their scoring rate. Yeah, and they need to get the ball to Carroll a little bit more and let him go to the basket. And yeah. He's but done a good job. He's been fighting a tough battle in there against yeah. two big men. Every time he's got it, he's been inside, he's been double teamed. Ball swung to Cochran. Cochran goes inside again, misses the layup this time. And Joseph Cochran comes up with a rebound for the Bish. Carroll. Does a good job at 
making sure he keeps that ball. And Again, O'Sullivan drives base good, good aggressive defense from, from Aina. And it's been that way the whole game. Uh -huh, you yeah, know, yeah. even in their zone, they've been aggressive in the zone, in the zone press, they've been the same. And that's the difference in the, both the teams at the moment, I think. They've given up very, very few easy scores. Comerford again. And he gets his own rebound, gets him off the floor. Great finish, Nathan Comerford. As the Bish just throw it out of bounds with 0.1 of a second to go. I don't think we can score in point one of a second, John. Uh, no, not, not now. I think maybe one of the Lynch twins could have been there. there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't see it happening. We're going to go into the fourth quarter with a 20-point lead. The referee says no basket. So as we head into the fourth quarter, it's Aina from Dublin, 45, the Bish from Galway, 25. Folks, you're very welcome back here to the National Basketball Arena in Tala, where we have the under-19A Boys Schools League final between Kilosh to Aina from Dublin and the Bish from Cork. Aina lead the final at the moment on a scoreline of 45 to 25 as we go into the last eight minutes. Referee Katrina White has just seen a, a little bit of blood on the knee of Keen Carroll, he's going to have to get that looked after before he comes back on the floor. The last thing they need is for him to come off the floor, John. Yeah, no, they, they need him. He's been, he's been their only real inside player. There, he's, he's, he's scored a few baskets inside, yeah, but every time he's got the ball, he's been double, triple teamed. I he's don't had fancy a, taking that day. tape off when he's finished. Yeah. He's worked very hard, but he's been up in, he's been up against two really good big guys now on the inner side. Yeah, he's been fantastic himself and probably Joseph Cochran have been the, the highlight for the Bish. And have had a very good team performance to be fair to them. Yeah, excellent, yeah. Chaim gives it off to Shah, to Brady. Looks inside, looked like a kick ball, it was indeed. Kento O'Connor, 14 back in the shot clock. Shah to Brady. Back to Shah, passes up on the tree this time. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Comerford, Chaim. Chaim steps out of bounds. That's gonna be a Bish ball. Zone press is still up. They're going to get that little trap just over half court. Yeah, that's, that's causing disruption to the fish offense. Look inside to Carroll. Kicked out to Cochran. Cochran for two. Foul is called. Now with these uh, shorter eight-minute quarters, I, I think the fish to have any chance. They nearly, they're nearly going to have to score nearly every offense. Yeah, absolutely, and, and get lots of stops. Cochran 
Makes the first. This is the second. Lovic gives it off to Comerford. To Brady. Back to Comerford again. Brady left wide open for three. Misses this one. Carroll comes up with the rebound. Kicks it off to O'Connor. Connor straight down the middle of the floor. Great move. Great finish by O'Connor. Go back to a 17-point game. A great pass. A bit more pressure here now from the Bish. They need, to, they need to do this, they need to step up. Sha. Cross court pass to O'Connor, looks inside to Lovic. Lovic, the big man. Misses this one, but Chine comes up with a massive rebound. Then gets a massive score. Little circus shot there, John. Yeah, did a great job there. Work his way to the basket. No pictures on the score sheet, isn't that what it says? That's it. Defense again, that high zone as a Connor shoots the tree. You can see Aina trying to slow it down a little bit now. Now time's on their side now, so they can take Sha, uh, three, three shots. Quick three. He's going to go to the line for three free throws as Dean Coughlin fouls him. We've got a timeout. 6.02 to go on the fourth. Aina 47, the Bish 28. Again, welcome back to the arena here on the Mighty Day School Boys Final, League Final. Aina 47, the Bish 28. Three free throws coming for Shah. As he looks to stretch that lead out further for Aina. from two so far as he gives a little smile over the crowd from the Bish. Goes three from three and gives him the look. A little bit of confidence in that man, John. Absolutely, he's had a really good game. He's been confident and everything he's done. Goes to Cochran. Dean Cochran. O'Connor. Cochran open for three. There you go. Three-point shot, Joseph Cochran. Full court pressure now from the Bish. That was a great, that was a great three-point shot there, because um, the Aina had done really well in the chasing. Good defense now from um, the Bish, getting the eight-second violation. Is it too late, though, John? That's the question. Oh, it's five and a half minutes ago. There's still, there's still a, a chance, albeit very slim. They're going to go early on every offense, but it looks at things. And they, they nearly need they need to score nearly on every offense too. And the open tree is going to be taken. Gone with a four out. Gives it inside to Carroll. Gets blocked by Lovic. Brady comes up with it. Going to be a jump ball. Good defense again. Uh, there's a good timeout from Aiden. Uh, the, the head coach just called a timeout. Get them settled down again. Get their press break on. 5-10 to go, 50-31 in favor of Hayden.
Welcome back again. Five minutes, ten seconds to go in the fourth quarter. In a lead. The Bish 50 to 31 in the under 19A schoolboys league final here in the National Basketball Arena in Dublin. John, the intensity has finally come from the Bish. Their defense a lot better the last maybe minute and a half or so. Yeah, uh, pity they didn't get it going a little bit earlier in the game. Um, they've done a good job now, a little bit more intensely. Cochran passes up to three. Again, Six seconds on the shot clock. Good defense from Aina. Yeah, that's a good timeout, firstly, and then they come out ready to go on defense from the timeout as well, John. Yep, only two seconds here on the shot clock as well, so they're going to have to run a play and get it off quickly. We're looking at Joseph Cochran here. Pulls up for the three, gets the rim, but doesn't get the rebound. Good effort, but that's been the story of the game so far, really forced shots, and again, good defense. Cochran, fouls Cochran, and he's going to go to the line for two free throws. Dean Cochran for the Bish, makes the first. This is the second. Joseph Cochran comes up with the rebound. O'Connor. Cochran, O'Connor. Again, a little bit far out. Three seconds on the shot clock as Carroll gets it. And Carroll's going to go to the line. You know, it's just a pity they didn't show this aggression earlier in the game. Getting to the basket, you know, moving the ball like they moved it. Their defense is much better than it was earlier as well. Obviously, Aina are getting a little bit tired now as well, you know, yeah, it's been a... Maybe their, their attitude has changed a bit as well. They're looking to run down the clock a little bit more as well. They'll be just happy to see each minute tick, boy. Yeah, keep, absolutely. Keep the lead. Two from two for Carroll from the line. As the Bish come up with their own press. Press break in the middle. Comerford. Lovich. Lovich in the short corner. Gives Aina back another two points and pushes the lead to 18. He's had an excellent game as well. Yeah, he's been really, really good. Kento O'Connor misses the shot. Comerford. On the rebound, tipped out by Carroll. You know, when you come to talk about MVPs of the game, you could talk about three or four Aina players as such, you know. It's been a real team performance. Yeah, it's going to be difficult to pick one, whoever's doing that. Yep. Shah definitely has to be in that mix, as does this man, Comerford. Getting a little bit sloppy now. Ball stolen away. Cochran puts it out for Dean Cochran. Shah tries to get back but can't. And down to a 16-point game. The pressure comes on and yeah. ball is passed again. Cochran comes up with it. He's going to go to the line for two. And again, just, it just we, we hit on it earlier. You just wonder where this defense has come from now. You know, pity we didn't see it earlier in the, in the game. I think we'd have a closer game. Yeah, the composure isn't there either from Aina at the moment. You're just kind of throwing aimless passes away. Like they should be looking to get to the middle of the floor and break that press down the middle. Big man in Cochran, uh, Neil Cochran, who's been open a couple of times. They haven't hit him. And now we're, uh, now we're back to a 14-point game with three and a half minutes to go, which is manageable. Yeah, uh, sometimes, you know, you can try and close out the game a little bit too early. It's a good pass there to break the press. Shah, Comerford. Joseph Cochran on the foul. It's going to be his second foul, team's third. Aina already in the penalty.
Comerford. To Shah. Looks inside to Cockton. Cockton into Lois. Three second call. That's a really good call. Yep, yeah, he was in there for more than the three seconds. A lot of times it's a call you don't see being made, but um, a correct call there. Another timeout called and 3.06 to go, 52-38 in favor of Hayna. We're back again, three minutes, six seconds to go in the fourth quarter of the under-19A All-Ireland Schools final. Here in the National Basketball Arena, it's going to be the Bish with the ball, trailing by 14 points. Nothing's impossible, John, but it's coming to that point now. Uh, it's been a good fourth quarter from the Bish. Maybe they just get themselves too much to do. Big three-pointer. And very, it's, it's a fourth shot, but... They probably have to force things at this stage now and hope that some things drop for them. Yeah. I don't know if fouling this team and putting them on the line will be much use to the meter because they've been decent from the free throw line. A shot is going to go to that free throw line. With 2.42 to go, both teams now in the penalty. Could be a long two and a half minutes, John. Couldn't be, Martin. Time. This is the first one. Makes the second. We're back to 15 points. Coughlin to Dean Coughlin. Again, good, good high defense there, so they can't get any easy shots away. Yeah, everything has been... A struggle for the Bish yeah. offensively. You see how high the big guys are playing there in that zone. Joseph Cochran pulls up for three, misses this one. Rebound by O'Connor. Joseph Cochran down the lane. Nice step through. Nice, yeah. Beautiful finish. You can just see glimpses of this kid, how good he is. He's um, He looks like a fantastic talent. Yeah, he's got, he's got the full package. There's another basket. He's got her own as well. He's an excellent player for Titans over the last few years. And of course, Big Joe. Taught them everything they know. <laughs> Big Joe has well known in basketball circles all throughout Ireland and even throughout Europe. Great guy for basketball, loves the game. The tree comes in with the come up with a rebound. Yeah. 11 point 11 game. 11 points. It's still a slight chance. Need to hit this. Need to hit this. No, they missed it. And Comerford comes up with a rebound. It was a shot he had to take. It was, it was pressure absolutely. Shot. And they needed to make it, unfortunately. Brady looks inside, kicks it out. Comerford, a oh, beautiful pass to Lovich. Oh, for the travel. Lovich on the travel. Gives the ball back to Debish. O'Connor. Coughlin. Looking for the tree. Looking for the open tree. Here it is. Yeah, okay. yeah. Takes the baseline drive instead. And Comerford comes up with the ball. Yeah. 
52 seconds to go. 53 nearly. Aina 53. The Bish 42. Both teams in the penalty as Nathan Comerford goes to the free throw line. It's been yeah. a good game, John. Unfortunately, it really got going in the fourth quarter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the Bish probably be disappointed with the way they started the game. Gave themselves a lot to do by half time. It looks like here now they're going to to take out their starters, put in the bench. Yeah, they're empty in the bench here. Coach Tom O'Malley given some of his bench players some time on the floor in the National Basketball Arena. Uh, they'd be disappointed with the start they made, I think, in the first half for them. Yeah, all credit to Aina, Klosh Aina. They, they played really well. Their defense was very impressive. It was a real team game they put in there today. Yeah, I've been so impressed by their, their zone and their zone press. Yeah. Uh, it's something I like to use myself, and I just I think they've they've worked it to perfection today. To be fair to them, uh, made every shot, every pass difficult. Uh, great work for me now. Well done to them. Uh, commiserations to the Bish, but they've been here before. They'll they'll be back here again, John. Yeah, yeah, and there's some good players there. I'm sure we see it senior level. Azena empty their bench. Foul is called and Nathan Comerford's going to go to the free throw line. We've got five new players looking to come in for Aina as they celebrate on the floor. Fantastic feeling. Willing. Uh, on oh. the 19 Cup final, our league final, John. Oh, it is, yeah. And then, um, you know, it's great to be able to celebrate with 30 seconds left on the clock. You know, you have it in the bag. Comerford makes the first. You know, credit to the Bish as well. They, they tried their heart out there in the fourth quarter. They just couldn't, they were just, just too much of a gap. Yeah, just, a, you know, maybe if they got going a little bit earlier, so just to get Comerford off the floor. He's had a great game. To, yeah. Aina had a great game. Credit to the Bish, you know, and to Tom O'Malley. He's done a great job there for years and years. Um, they've always been a tough team to beat. They've won many championships, but today is Aina's day as they win the Under 19A Boys All Ireland League Final. And I'm going to run away very quickly when this game is over, John. So I want to say yeah. thanks very much for all your help today. Appreciate it. Well, Colin, thanks, thanks, thanks to you, Martin. You've did all four games today, which is fantastic. I hope you're not running all the way back to Carlo. I take the car and get there quicker. Uh, Liverpool Beach, John. We'll, okay. we'll get there. I have face for telly and face for radio, I'm told. Well, the court is invaded. And we're away. <laughs> John, I'm going to leave you to finish okay. up, but that's OK. Well, and Colin. thanks a million. So, uh, thanks very much, Martin. Uh, well, congratulations, Dana, again, as we have a court invasion. <laughs> I hope that'll be clear soon. Thanks very much for listening, and we leave it on. We leave this scenes on. Sam will go off now.